So last Monday, we visited, uh, we traveled to Amman. We visited Zaatari refugee camp, and we visited Ruwad, a local community nonprofit to help local communities. We went there with these. These are Google Cardboard boxes. You place your mobile in them, and you're able to access a world of virtual reality. When we were in the camp in Amman, in Zaatari actually, we talked to the refugees and they shared with us some parts of their experiences and stories. Honestly, when we first went there, we were skeptical about combining and providing them with virtual reality. We didn't know what the outcomes would be. But when we actually gave them that, we were shocked by their reactions. When we gave them a cardboard box, they were able to travel. They went to Yosemite, they went under the sea, and they went to the moon. But the one place they couldn't visit was home. So we started to look for 360 images about Syria, and while we were exploring, exploring those images, we came across this image, which is actually my own home. I lived here for more than 15 years, and I, I was really surprised by the amount of emotion and memories that were brought back to me the moment I saw this picture. I haven't been here for five years. I'm Syrian, I can't go back. So, uh, but at least I have some memories about this place I call home, where my family lived and where I belong. However, since the conflict in Syria, more than 5,000 children were born in Al Zaatari camp. They've never been to Syria, they have no memories, and they don't know how beautiful the country was. Hence, we created Spheria. We gathered all the 360 images existed in Syria, and we attached it on a 2D map of Syria so that just by using a simple cell phone and a cardboard, you can enter into these spheres and explore different locations in Syria. So Spheria is just, not just an immersive picture experience, it's because what made my picture of my home really important was all the memory attached to this place so that we created, some, we created a way for Syrian to attach their own memory inside those spheres so that everyone, when people in the Zatari camp use this app, can actually hear an actual memory recorded by another Syrian. So Spheria could also um, could be an individual exploration tool, but it also could be used as a learning tool. So utilizing Google Expeditions, the teacher could guide the students through a certain place. She could navigate them into historical landmarks. She could take them into historically important places and explain about them. While we designed this with refugees in mind, actually this tool could be used by anyone, anywhere, to have glimpse about Syria and explore the country. In order to build Spheria, we will need to provide Syrians and journalists there with 360 cameras to build this platform and generate more content to add it. If you care to try the virtual reality and visit Syria with us, please visit our station after the presentations and explore Syria with us. Thank you.